My vagina's been good to me over the years. But I'm worried if I've been good enough to it. Is my vagina secretly angry that I've been taking it for granted? Should I be buying it more treats? According to the V wellness industry, there's lots of things we should be doing to zhuzh up our quim. But what does your vagina say? Rose Stewart is National Nurse Advisor at Family Planning. Maybe her official title isn't Vagina Whisperer, but she knows her vagina science. This is my vagina. Okay, um, this, hello vagina. And I've put some things in here that have been recommended uh, to me on various wellness oh, yeah. websites. And I just want to know if um, you think they're a good idea. Sure. So, okay. Um, Benoit bulbs. Are they clean? Yeah-ish, they could be. They may not hurt you, but they might not do any good. A jade egg. Well, probably not, because they're kind of porous and they could have other things in them. Detox pearls? Really, they're not going to do anything when you think about it, are they? So, okay. probably not. Not even an onion and a lemon? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it too much? Even a little bit's too much. Oh! <laughs> A shopping bag. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Maybe I could put all of this stuff that was in there in here. Gosh, this goes on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder where they were. Okay, oh, yeah, good. Thanks, Rose. <laughs> God, I feel so much lighter. <laughs> so explain to me how a vagina works. For most people, it's pretty self-managing if they don't do the wrong things. Primarily not douching or washing it out is really, really important because we have natural bacteria in there that sort of have a cleaning function, simply. And if you douche, you wash those out. Do, you, do we need to exercise our vagina? Only if you've got some problems with your pelvic floor. Because of our anatomy, the pelvic floor hasn't got a lot of support, and then it's been, been under a lot of pressure with childbirth or just hormonal changes with age. It can be a bit saggy. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can do some exercises to just keep it in shape. What sort of, what's a good exercise? Well, a good exercise is when you're going to the toilet for a pee. Yep. Is just to hold on, not let it out all in a rush, and then sort of suck in like there's an elevator in there. Yeah. Just suck it up like there's an elevator and let the elevator down slowly. So I'm that's... doing it now. Ground floor. Is there an upside to the V wellness industry? Do you think we need to know our vaginas better? Yeah, I definitely think people need to know about their bodies and how they work. But I think the wellness industry is tied up in money and also under the guise of feminism, which makes it very challenging, you mm -hmm. know, to address. I have seen a lot of vaginas. <laughs> and I, you know, I've talked to a lot of women. Yes, of course, you know, if you're a feminist, you say you can do what you like to your body, but do it advisedly and get some good information and get help if it's going wrong. It's interesting, isn't it? Turns out a vagina is a lot like the rest of us. All it wants is the occasional squeeze, a bit of fresh air, and a kind word now and then. I appreciate you. I really do. You've been fantastic. We've had some great times. We've had some tough times, to be trolley. You remember the time you pushed the baby out and I thought, oh, that'll never be the same again.